Hello everyone, this is Sir Jap. And the last time, I know that Sir Villarde gave you a lot of information when it comes to laws of exponent and simplifying exponential expressions. I hope that you learned a lot from him. And for today's video, we will be moving on exploring exponential equations and inequalities. Again, this is a part of studying exponential functions. Well, to give you an insight on what these concepts are and how we will be using these concepts are on real-life situations, yung exponential equations and inequalities kasi ay very useful on research specifically carbon dating o yung pag trace back ng ating mga artifacts para mapag-aralan yung mga events na nangyayari on the past also ginagamit din tong exponential equations and inequalities on population models yung investments also on decay interests business population growth etc so marami siyang application so dapat natin siyang pag-aralan well syempre before that let's take a look on the objectives for this week and the content of this video. So, ayan, let's start with exponential equations. To solve exponential equations, we just need to express all of those expressions into same base. Pag sinabing same base, kailangan parehas yung mga numbers nila sa baba bago ka magsustart mag-solve. Halimbawa, solve for the equation 10 raised to 1 minus x equals 10 raised to 4. Kung makikita ninyo dito, same na yung base nila. So, since the expressions already have same bases, you can now start solving the equation. So, paano siya sinosolve? Ganito. Start with the given. So, from this, just get the exponents and equate it to each. Ibig sabihin, kukunin mo lang exponents, yung 1 minus x and yung 4. Pagkatapos, equate mo lang sila sa isa't isa kagaya nito. So, kinuha natin yung mga exponents at nilagyan natin sila ng equal sign sa isa't isa. So, after that, you can solve for x. Basically, ang kailangan mo lang gawin dito is isolate natin yung x. Pag sinabing isolate, siya lang dapat yung nakikita sa isang side of equation. Regardless of the side, pwedeng left, pwedeng right. So, para maging mas madali, yung negative x natin, i-transpose na lang natin sa right side para maging positive na siya. And then, yung 4, syempre, transpose din natin. Magiging ganito. 1 minus 4 equals x. So, don't get confused kasi baka isipin nyo pinagpalit lang ng pwesto yung x and 4. Yung 4 from the right side is positive. So, tinranspose siya, magiging negative. And then, yung negative x from the left side is negative. And tinranspose siya, so magiging positive na siya. Simplify lang yan. Then, we will get negative 3 equals x. Or, 
pwede rin naman x equals negative 3. And that will be our answer for the equation. So, medyo madali siya if the givens are already on their same base form. So, kung hindi naman same yung base, ganito naman ang gagawin. Let's say, for example, we will solve for this equation. If you look at the given, we have different bases here kasi 3 yung isa, yung isa 27. And baka magtanong kayo, bakit base ang tawag sa 27? Eh, wala naman siyang exponent. Meron yan exponent, invisible 1 nga lang. So, hindi na kailangan isulat pa yung 1 na yan, invisible 1, para kay 27. So, take natin siya as a base. So, we have different base here. We have 3 and 27. So, start with the given always. And then, since magkaiba sila, we will express the expressions into same bases. Kapag nag-express kayo ng exponential expressions para maging same base sila, ang pinakamadaling ginagawa is pinahanap yung least or pinaka mababa na possible base. Halimbawa, kay 3. Si 3 kasi wala ka nang may isip na base sa kanya, kundi 3. When it comes to 27 naman, pwede mo siyang gawing 3 cube. Kasi 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So, pwede natin gawing 3 cube yung ating 27. So, after that, gagamitin mo na yung 3 cube instead of 27. So, from this, you will just get the exponents and equate it to each. So, 2x minus 1 is equal to 3. After that, you will solve for x. Again, kapag sinabing solve for x, you will just make the x alone on one side of equation. Kailan wala siyang kasama kahit ano. So, paano gagawin yun? Transpose, syempre, yung negative 1. So, magiging plus 1. After that, simplify. You will have 2x equals 4. And then, you'll just need to divide both sides by 2. Cancel natin yung 2 dito. And we will get x as 2. And that's how you solve exponential equations. So, ngayon, dahil alam nyo na kung paano magsisolve ng exponential equations, kung nahihirapan pa, pwedeng balikan yung mga kaninang examples ulit-ulitin isolve hanggang sa makuha. Well, anyway, let's move on on exponential inequalities. To solve exponential inequalities, you also need to express everything to same basis. So, halos parehas lang siya ng exponential equations, kaya lang may dagdag na iintindihin. Kailangan mong i-consider if the basis are fraction or not. Kasi, kapag fraction, kailangan mong i-flip or i-reverse yung inequality sign. Kapag ka naman whole number, okay lang i-keep yung ating inequality sign. Again, if it is a fraction, flip. If it is a whole number, keep. So, let's apply yung mga yan sa mga examples. Let's say, for example, we will solve for the inequality 2 raised to 5 x minus 9 greater than 4 raised to x. 
si Pagsisolve, always start with the given. After that, you will express those expressions into same bases. Again, pag nag-express ka into same base, kailangan mong hanapin yung lowest possible base. Let's say for 2, wala na tayong magagawa sa kanya, kundi 2 talaga siya. Samantala yung 4, pwede nga express as 2 squared. So after that, we will simplify using the power rule, which is yung nasa lesson 1. And that will be 2 raised to 2x. We will just multiply those exponents according to power rule. So, dahil same base na siya, tignan ngayon kung if it is whole number or a fraction. Now, since this will be a whole number base, we will keep the inequality sign. So, definitely, if it is greater than, greater than na lang siya throughout the solution. Next, after considering the bases, you will get the exponents. So, pag nakuha mo na exponents, you will use them and copy them tapos copy mo rin yung iyong inequality sign which is greater than. After that, you will simplify this inequality as if you are solving an equation. So, paano gagawin? You will just transpose everything so that x will be alone on one side of inequality. So, we have here two sides with x. Yung ibang estudyante pag nagsisolve nyan, nakoconfuse na agad. So, ang gagawin mo dyan is, doon ka na lang magtatranspose ng mga x sa side na merong pinakamataas na x. Comparing 5x and 2x, 5x is larger. So, doon mo na lang itatranspose yung 2x. And then, si negative 9, transpose mo rin dun sa kabilang side para maging alone yung x on the final step of solution. So, ganito mangyayari. Nilipat yung 2x sa kabila, magiging negative 2x. Nilipat si negative 9, magiging positive 9. Hindi po pinagpalit yung pwesto ng 2x and 9, ha? Nagkataon lang na naging halos magkamuka yung signs. Pero nilipat po talaga yan. So, 5x minus 2x will be equal to 3x and then just bring down greater than 9. After that, you will divide it by 3, both sides, and then you will cancel 3 on the left side. Therefore, we will have x greater than 3. Also, you can always write this answer using interval notation which is 3 to positive infinity. If you remember our lesson about rational inequalities, we also used interval notation kung saan kapag ka greater than lang or less than lang, puro parenthesis. Halimbawa, ito si x greater than 3 dahil nga greater than lang, we will use parenthesis on 3. Now, bakit siya naging positive infinity? That is because of the word greater than. Kasi nga kapag ka greater than, papataas. And starting from 3, papataas, that will be 3, papuntang positive infinity. And infinity always uses parentheses. But don't worry, any of these two answers is acceptable and correct. You can always use the classical notation or pwede rin naman yung interval notation. Let's have another one. Solve for the inequality. 1 8 raised to x. Less than or equal 1 4 raised to x. Start with the given always. And then, you will express everything as same base. So, since we have here a fraction, hindi mo may expect 
na yung 1 and 8 dapat same yung base. Dapat, kapag fraction, tapos i-express mo siya as same base, ang iisipin mo, kailangan yung numerator parehas, yung denominator parehas. Now, yung numerator natin kasi, parehas na na siya yung 1. So, wala na tayong ibang iintindihin tungkol sa kanya. But, on the denominator, we have 8 and 4. So, we will express those two numbers into same base. Again, you will think of lowest possible base, which is 2. So, yung 8 is 2 cubed, yung 4 is 2 squared. After that, you will reverse and flip the inequality sign because our base is a fraction. Understandable that will be a fraction because of 1 over 2. Flip natin. So, magiging greater than equal na siya instead of less than equal. Ito na siya. So, since we have exponents inside the parentheses, hindi tayo makakapag-solve ng maayos. So, we need to reverse the distributive rule. So, ginagamit siya to make the exponent be outside the parentheses. On this case, wala tayong problema with 1 kasi kahit ano naman exponent ni 1, 1 ang sagot. Ang ilalabas na lang natin dito is yung 3 and 2. Pero kapag kaiba yung even, let's say yung ibang numerator meron, make sure nyo muna na yung exponents nila ay parehas bago kayo mag-distributive rule reverse kung magkaibang exponent na numerator and denominator hindi mo pwedeng magamit si distributive rule well that's a different case we have a case here na 1 lang naman so walang problem yon. just make 3 and 2 be outside the parentheses like this Again, ulitin ko lang, if we have different exponent on numerator and denominator, we cannot make the exponent be outside the parentheses. Sa ating given, sinuwerte lang tayo ng 1 kasi kung 1, wala tayong kaso dyan. Pero kapag yan ay nag-iba, kailangan mo munang alamin kung parehas ba yung exponent ng numerator and denominator bago ka makapag-reverse ng distributive rule. Ngayon, kung hindi, hindi mo siya magagawa. Okay. Anyway, let's move on the solution. Since we have same base na as 1 half, we should get the exponents. That would be 3x greater than equal 2x. After that, you will solve this as if you are solving equation. Meaning, you need to transpose 2x to the other side, which will become 3x minus 2x greater than equal 0. And then, that will be simplified as x greater than equal 0. Or, could be written as interval notation of 0 to positive infinity. Now, if you look at the 0, we have a bracket here kasi nga meron tayong equal sign doon sa ilalim ng greater than. And dahil nga greater than, dapat positive infinity. Now, what if the given becomes less than? E di gagawin mo lang siyang negative infinity. Pero baliktad yung ayos. Mauuna yung infinity bago yung number. Okay, so that's it. That's how you solve exponential inequalities.